Hi everyone, my name is Mr. DeCoste and I'm the choir director here at Higley High School. Um, with the registration coming up and classes soon being locked in, or if not already, uh, I just wanted to take a moment, a few minutes actually, to uh, introduce you to the choir program here at Higley High School to give you an idea of all the really, really cool and exciting things that are uh, in store for you. Uh, I personally am just one of the two choir directors here. Uh, I, I teach the men's chorale along with Aurora, which is the intermediate women's class, uh, Bella Noti, the advanced women's, and then the uh, chamber singers, which is our top mixed ensemble. You'll meet my colleague and friend, Mr. Cheatham, in just a moment, and he'll be able to talk to you a little bit more. But before we go on, I just want to say thanks for taking the time and being in choir now. And if you're not in choir, I hope that you'll consider joining us because there are so many great opportunities and doors to be opened for you and your friends by joining our program. So sit back and relax. We hope you enjoy this video and you'll get to hear from past students, current, and hopefully even some future students on all the great things that we have in store for you. Hello, my name is Mr. Cheatham and this is my uh, first year that I'm wrapping up with uh, Higley High School. I'm currently the assistant director of choir and bands and I teach the entry level women's ensemble. When you come to Higley High School, hopefully you'll consider joining choir and if you do, you'll get me for the entry level ensemble because I act kind of like a bridge from junior high into high school. Um, the goal with this is so we can continue uh, the different things you're learning in choir, getting you to sing beautifully, and then from that point auditioning up to other choirs so that you can um, be a part of the other auditioned ensembles that we have here at Higley High School. Uh, we hope to see you once you get here and I hope to meet you soon. Hi, I'm Sarah Nichols. Hi, I'm Cassie. And we're the presidents of Women's Crawl. So in Women's Corral, we have a very friendly environment and also very good memories. Yeah, Mr. Cheatham, he was really supportive of us in the beginning of the year. He would, like, he wouldn't put pressure on you. It's a really fun time and uh, it'll bring you together. So Women's Corral is a very welcoming environment. I always feel comfortable in there. I don't really feel anxious when I'm there. We're all singing as a group, so it doesn't feel as much pressure to sing as like one person because you're with everyone else. It is uh, easy to get into, and I thought it was gonna be a little more complicated because it's music, but uh, singing can be as fun as you make it. For people joining choir, it's, it's, it's an amazing experience, and we can't wait to have it. Hi, my name is Giuliano, uh, I'm a senior. My name's Ravi and I'm a freshman. And we are the current Men's Crowd Presidents. Uh, we wanted to talk about what Men's Crowd is all about. For me, Men's Crowd is an escape from the day. We bond, we get to have a lot of fun in class, and it's really just relaxing to yeah. be in that class. We not only sing in men's crowd, but we want to make it a judgment-free zone where guys can, all around Higley, can just come in and, and, and uh, be a family and have a family um, besides their own at home. So we have bonding experiences. We went ice skating last year. It was super fun. And um, this is a judgment-free zone where we sing and have fun every day. Come along, come see what's up with men's crowd, and, uh, and uh, let's, let's become the best family at Higley you've ever seen. Hi, I'm Megan Heady. I graduated from Higley in 2019. I honestly recommend joining and sticking with choir to everyone that asks about it. Even if you feel like you're not the best at singing or you're too shy, you don't want to be embarrassed, whatever it is, choir changes all of that. It's truly an experience like no other. Hey guys, my name's Liberty. I'm a Higley Choir alumni. So my favorite things about choir were the 
atmosphere, the energy, the music, and most definitely the people. Um, absolutely love that. It was my favorite part of the day. I loved going and I definitely think you guys should check it out and consider joining. Hi, I'm Alexis Wilson and I'm in 10th grade. I'm Kate Simmons and I'm a senior this year. And we are co-presidents of Aurora. This is the first year that the Aurora class has been introduced. It's a new class full of intermediate women. Because our women's choir last year was so large, we had to split the class in half again. So there was beginning women's choir, and then as you work your way up and audition for our class, then you can be potentially put into Aurora. Last year I was in women's choir, so it's nice to move up a little bit and be put in an intermediate class where you learn a lot more than you do in the beginning. In an intermediate class like Aurora, there's time for you to mess around and you get to make jokes and we have all these inside jokes making fun of the cost, of course, because those are the best. I'm Bex Masterakos. I'm a senior at Higley High School. I am here to talk about Region Water Choir, and it's honestly one of the most fun experiences I've ever had as a choral singer. You get to sing with other like advanced singers, and they're so the music is so cool. You make new friends, you get new experiences, and it's always just so fun. The audition process is honestly kind of nerve-wracking. You have to do sight reading, you have to sing a solo, then they get back to you in about a week. And even if you don't make it in, they give you really, really good comments on like what you need to improve on, what you did well on, and stuff like that. It's honestly, it's honestly really, just really informative. It's really fun. I hope you guys will try out for Regional Honor Choir. I hope to come back to a concert and see y'all singing with the choir. My name is Ryan Baker, I'm a senior this year, and for my sophomore year, I got to go to Allstate Choir. The process to audition, it's pretty similar to regionals. Once you make Allstate, you get to go to uh, one of the three main colleges here in Arizona. Basically, you just get to spend a couple days, you know, being surrounded by, you know, people who share the same love of, of music and singing music as you. You get to fine tune your skills as a musician, meet some people that you've never seen before, and ultimately it's just a really good experience. Hi, I'm Leila Brimmer from Bella Noti. We've both had a lot of experiences when joining choir. At first, like, I thought it would be a very intimidating experience since it was such like an outgoing thing to do. I went out for a solo and I got it and I was so scared but it really changed me as a person and it helped me grow. My experiences were kind of similar where I was really nervous to join because I didn't really know where I fit in but as soon as I walked in that room everyone was super welcoming and super supportive and really nice and so I just kind of you know grew a lot of confidence from being in there and they're like a second family to me. So. Hi, my name is Jessica Dietz and I'm a junior. My name's Noelle, I'm a senior, and I am one of the co-presidents of Bella Noti. We are the Advanced Women's Choir at Higley's. Bellanoti is one of my favorite classes because it's a place where girls from each grade level can come together and sing and do what they love. One of the great things about Bella is that it is a family. Like, coming into Bella, it just feels safe. It's a very good, productive environment. Everyone is encouraging and everyone is willing to work hard, so we sound good. But it's also very relaxed. We can have fun. We can joke with each other and with Dakot and with Alicia. Uh, I've made a lot of friends in that class. Uh, mainly because you are at the same maturity level with most of the girls because it's a audition course. So Bella gets special opportunities. You get to go to Jazz Mad with Chamber, which is a festival we do in February. And then we also get to go on some trips that the lower choirs don't. That's kind of a perk too. Overall, it's really fun and I really like the music that we get in there. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Ava. I'm a sophomore. Um, I'm the choir council secretary, and I want to talk to you guys about the car wash every year. But um, it's a really great way to meet people outside of your choir. It's a great way to meet choir alumni. Last year, we did it literally behind an IHOP, and it was just a ton of choir kids armed with hoses, screaming some of their favorite songs at the top of their lungs, and washing cars for free. So another thing I want to talk to you guys about is the D-backs game. I know a lot of you have done it, but for those of you who haven't, the D-backs game, we do it every year. We go and sing with a bunch of other choirs, and afterwards we get to walk around and buy whatever we want, Dutch Bros, hot dogs, pretzels, and we get to meet people from other choirs that do the thing that we love doing. Hi, my name is Zoe, and I'm a senior, and I'm just going to talk about some of the like trip opportunities you get in choir. During my time in choir in high school, four years, I got to go on two trips. When I was in women's choral, the entire choir got to go to Carnegie Hall in New York, which was such an amazing experience. We got to sing with kids from all of the choirs around the country, and we also saw The Lion King on Broadway, and we got to run around Times Square, eat some amazing pizza. It was just really great. My sophomore year, I went to San Francisco, which that was a bus trip, and that was really fun, a good bonding experience for sure. We sang in a beautiful church, and once again got to see a bunch of different choirs. Some fun things we did, we saw the Winchester Mystery House, we saw the Golden Gate Bridge. It was really cool and really fun. Two great experiences that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. I feel like if you join choir, you get a bunch of experiences you probably wouldn't get if you wouldn't join, so I really recommend it. Hi guys, it's Evan. I'm a junior. And I'm Kaylee and I'm also a junior. And we are the presidents of our chamber choir. And Chamber Singers is pretty much a mixed women's and men's advanced choir. Being a part of Chamber Choir, we get a bunch of opportunities to go on fun trips and participate in festivals such as Jazz Mat. Um, we also get to work on a bunch of really hard but also super fun music. And we really hope you guys come out and audition for our Chamber Singers. Hi, my name is Becca Studnik and I am the Choir Council's President. So that means I kind of oversee everything that happens across the whole program, including all five classes. I joined my sophomore year and I gained a leadership position my junior year. I've loved my time here in the program and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. I'm Riley Fromm and I'm a junior and I am the Vice President. So for our leadership, we have the Higley Choir Council, which is made up of the President, the Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, and there's a few other roles that are kind of off the side, like historian. And then for each choir, we have co-presidents that work together to organize things for the choir. If you want to join, there's going to be sign-ups at the beginning of each year where you can sign up for the positions you want. And then it's kind of more of an audition type process where he'll select who gets into the choir council. So the last quarter of every year we have a concert called The Pop Show where we take more well-known music that's not like choral. So sometimes we'll have like a musical themed one. Last year we were supposed to have a throwback concert. Each song is choreographed so it's kind of like, imagine like a dinner theater without the dinner. You're kind of sitting and watching that. It's a ton of fun. So for The Pop Show we sometimes do an all girl song, an all guy song, or even an all together song and those are like a great way to meet more people in the program and really interact and kind of come together as a choir program. So for the past two years, I've been choreographing the pop show. So I come in and I teach each class like a little dance that has to go with their music. And then we get to go and perform it for our friends and family. It's a ton of fun. Everyone looks forward to it every year. And I would say it's easily the highlight of our program. Well guys, thanks for sticking around and watching the video. We hope that you enjoyed all of the things that we have to offer, but you know what? There's still so much more that we couldn't fit into this short video. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to myself, reach out to Mr. Cheatham. If you're at the middle school or at the elementary school, reach out to your teachers. Let them know that you're interested. Whenever it comes down to the schedule and it can be complicated and scary, um, always ask for help. We're here to help you and we wanna make sure that you have the classes that work best for you and, the, and that the classes that you'll enjoy. 
So we hope that uh, we'll see you as a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, whoever's seeing this. We hope that we'll see you in our program so you can share the music with us and get all these great memories that we've shared together. Until then, take care.